subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. A ton of coverage. A ton of analysis. Before SummerSlam, because I'm going to get your review, guys. When SummerSlam is all said and done, I want your comments, your review. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to do a video, and I'm going to give it to you guys. I'm going to give it to you in real time. I'm going to give it to you all the time. I'm going to give it to you multiple times a day like I do every single day. Why? Because I actually care about your sentiments. I care about your opinions. I care about your comments. Because remember, your view is the only view that matters on YouTube.com. Your view is the only view that matters now. We all know tonight will be the in-ring return. We have been waiting 10 long years. We have been waiting 10 full years for this to happen. And now finally, it is going to manifest itself. Finally, we are going to be graced not only just to see CM Punk, not just to witness CM Punk, but to see CM Punk compete, to see CM Punk scrap, to see CM Punk wrestle in a wrestling ring at a massive extravaganza known as the hottest event of the year, SummerSlam. And we're going to get that tonight. However, however, I do got to bring up this because, again, we do discuss rumors, gossip, speculation. The thing about it is, is going into SummerSlam, and again, we're going to be covering a lot on this show. Not only are we going to be covering CM Punk, but we're going to be covering a lot about predictions. I want your predictions about who is going to win. Who do you want to win at SummerSlam? Who is going to come through when it matters most? Who is going to come through tonight? Who is going to be the winners and who is going to be the losers going into SummerSlam tonight? There is a lot of promise. There's a lot of promotion. There's a lot of dominance. There is a lot of popularity. There is a lot going into SummerSlam tonight. And I want all of you to sign up to become a channel member today. Because when you become a channel member, you become a part of the extended family of the Brash in the Brazen. Where we raise the bar bar to all-time levels on this very show. Now, we all know the kind of work ethic CM Punk has. He has been wrestling with his mind coming up to this date. He has been compromising. He has been realizing. He has been working out. He has been training. He has been saying his prayers. He's been taking his vitamins. He's been doing the Hulk Hogan regime. He's been doing the Hulk Hulk Hogan regimen. Excuse me. Although there might be a new regime tonight. I don't know, guys. Talking about regimes. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's Let's not even touch that right now. But as CM Punk is getting ready for probably... Uh, the biggest match of his SummerSlam career, probably the most personal match in CM Punk's WWE career in history, okay? The most important match, perhaps, in SummerSlam history, viewers, fans, and subscribers. Now, let me let, let me bring this up to speed, guys. You, you Listen, whether you're a CM Punk fan or not, whether you're a bandwagon fan, whether you've been supporting him, whether you're for him, whether you're against him, you have to respect the grit and the guts because you can say, oh, CM Punk's UFC career was another failure. At least he tried. At least he stepped up to the plate. At least CM Punk was man enough to try UFC, okay? Name me another wrestler besides Brock Lesnar and Ken Shamrock, you know, and Bobby Lashley that would have done that. Did you see The Undertaker do it? Did you see Stone Cold Steve Austin do it? Did you see Sting do it? Did you see Kane do it? Did you see any other wrestler that was a mid-cotter or a curtain jerker do it? No, CM Punk was man enough to step up to the plate. Listen, you're not going to be a a success at everything. You're not going to be a success at everything. But however, what I'm torn about, what what I'm torn about, and again, we do discuss rumors and speculation on this very website, on this very app, and that is why it's so crucial to turn the bell and turn on all notifications. We are now, oh, wait, whoa, 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 before we get into the injury in the beach ambush, before we get into the beach ambush, Brock Lesnar returning and challenging for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam 2024. According to rumors and speculation, according to those that know, 
Again, this could change. This could change. But everyone's still going to call it clickbait. Everyone's going to say I'm fake. Everybody's going to say I don't know what I'm talking about. Even though they don't know the difference between rumors and clickbait and gossip. They don't know. They'll never get it. And that is why if you don't know the definition of clickbait and, 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 and rumors and speculation gossip. If you don't know the difference. If you don't know the difference between clickbait and rumors. I want you to unsubscribe. Because I don't want you here. And if you're going to stay here, I'm just going to block you. I'm just going to block you. Because I'm only here for my true subscribers, my true fans, and my true supporters. I don't give a damn about the haters, the critics, the naysayers, and the trolls who are trying to make a name at my expense. It's not just going to happen. Uh-uh. Not at my expense, bro. Not at my expense. Now, there's a rumor and a speculation that CM Punk was at a beach, a local beach, before SummerSlam. And that he was attacked. That CM Punk was ambushed. CM Punk was assaulted on a beach before SummerSlam. Now, right now, we don't know how true that is. However, we also don't know who did it. Now, it can't be Drew McIntyre. Although, if it, if it wasn't videotaped, if it wasn't camcorded, it never happened. If there's no proof, it never happened. Because remember, if CM Punk and Drew McIntyre touch, if they are, you know, within wrestling, if, if, if they so much as breathe the wrong way on each other. Tonight's SummerSlam match was going to be off. It was going to be canceled. It was going to be done for. It wasn't going to go down, right? Viewers, fans, and subscribers. Well, let me tell you this right now. I'll tell you this right now. From what I have witnessed and what I've heard and what I've seen, again, this is why we do multiple videos a day to keep you up to speed and up to date on all WWE. Because why? Because this guy, Sean's View, actually gives you the news, the rumors, the headlines, and the prominence. And this is why we do multiple videos a day. Because if something's wrong or something's not adding up, or if you need the latest on something, or if this changes, or if there's developments to anything, we bring it to you right here on this very show. Because that's what I believe in at the end of the day. That's what I primarily believe in. Now, who would ambush? Who would assault? Who would attack CM Punk on a beach just a few hours before SummerSlam? Just a few damn hours before the hottest event of the year. The world is talking about it. Now, everybody knows the kind of time and effort and passion and emotion. Everybody knows everything I put into this channel. But viewers, fans, and subscribers, what about everything that CM Punk has put into his comeback? What about all the training? What about all the dedication? What about all... The, the heartbreak that has went into this, knowing that CM Punk is into his late 40s, knowing that CM Punk knows there's not much time left. The time is ticking on CM Punk's career. Is CM Punk going to be able to make it? Is CM Punk going to show up? Hell, tonight's match between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre with Seth freaking Rollins as the troubleshooting special guest referee? The odds are stacked. The odds are against CM Punk in this very match. Now, if anything... If anything, Seth Rollins should be on the side of CM Punk. Seth Rollins should help out CM Punk. And you might be asking yourself, why would he do that? Why would he do that? Well, because at WrestleMania, look what happened. Seth Rollins got defeated, but who came on? Who, who, who was in the twilight zone? Who was in the background? Who was the back shot? It was CM Punk at WrestleMania 40. It was CM Punk the best in the damn freaking world. That's who it was. That's who was there. CM Punk has been in the backdrop of Seth Rollins for many years. But yet, as much as Seth Rollins didn't want CM Punk in the WWE, the fact of the matter is CM Punk needs, Seth Rollins needs CM Punk. Seth Rollins needs that kryptonite. He needs that challenge. He needs him to be in the spotlight. Now imagine if CM Punk returns. Now here's the thing. We all know CM Punk has screwed McIntyre over and over, title after title after opportunity, but it was for good reason because Drew McIntyre injured. Drew McIntyre took out. Drew McIntyre was happy. He was proud that he injured CM Punk. So CM Punk has made it his destiny. CM Punk has made it his business to make sure Drew McIntyre never holds on to a world title as long as CM Punk is breathing air, as long as CM Punk is there in a WWE ring. As long as Drew McIntyre is there, CM Punk says it's never going to happen. It's not going to materialize. But ladies and gentlemen, if this is true, if CM Punk was ambushed, if CM Punk was attacked on a beach, you got to wonder, was it Seth Rollins? Who is trying to make sure that CM Punk is not 100%? Who is trying to make sure that CM Punk can never return to a WWE ring ever again, especially just a couple hours before SummerSlam? We are just a couple hours before SummerSlam, guys. The biggest event of the year, the blockbuster, the extravaganza. CM Punk has been waiting on this moment, on this day, on this time. 
And for this to go down like this would be absolutely sick. It would be sinister. But there is nothing, and by God I mean there is nothing, that is going to hold CM Punk back from getting his retribution, his retaliation, and his revenge. Drew McIntyre said it was going to be a killing at SummerSlam. And then CM Punk responded by saying it's going to be the biggest funeral in SummerSlam history. These two men aren't trying to make sure who's the better man and who can wrestle better and who can fight better. These two men are trying to kill one another. You heard right. These two men are trying to kill one another. They are trying to maim one another. There will be blood. There will be sacrifice. And it ain't going to be too nice. It ain't going to be too sweet. Like the NWO used to say, I hope CM Punk isn't attacked at an, or ambushed at a beach before SummerSlam. Because Drew McIntyre knows, he knows, maybe he can't defeat CM Punk at 100%. Because here's the thing, even though CM, even though CM Punk didn't do too great in UFC, CM Punk still knows UFC holds. He still knows how to grapple. He still knows how to fight for real. Drew McIntyre doesn't know how to fight for real, but CM Punk does. CM Punk damn sure knows how to fight for real. Your thoughts, your comments, your opinions, subscribe. And remember, I will give you full rundown, full reviews, and full analysis of SummerSlam when it is all said and done, when all the smoke is cleared, when all the dust has settled. Who's going to come out supreme at SummerSlam? Subscribe.